The laws of electricity tell us that voltage stays the same in a parallel circuit, but average changes as the load is added or subtracted. I'm standing in front of a substation that's delivering a distribution voltage of 19,900 volts phase to ground. Using an amp meter just outside the substation, I found that 99 amps was being delivered by the substation to the line. Let's go ahead and head down the line and take some amperage readings and see how it's affected. Okay, we're about three miles from the substation and our amp meter reads 59 amps. It's important to note that as the amperage decreases, smaller conductor sizes are often used to save money. At the substation, our conductor size was 336, and at this location, it's 2 watt. Let's go further down the line and take our last amp reading. We're at our final location, which is a three-phase tap off the main line. We're about a mile from our last location and four miles from the substation. Our amp meter reads two amps, and our conductor size is four acer. Even though the voltage stayed the same throughout the circuit, the amperage decreased because of the power being consumed between here and the substation. Make sure you know the amperage of the line you're working on before starting any job, because it's crucial for selecting the proper size grounds, mechanical jumpers, and other equipment. For Northwest Lyman College, I'm Travis Christensen. Work safe out there.